the brand new Tesla Model Y is already lagging in terms of technology compared to the Xpeng G6. The Xpeng is based on an 800 volt architecture, just like the Porsche Taycan. But the Model Y has carried over the old 400 volt architecture on its recent festlift. Now, that would have been an acceptable compromise if the Tesla was a little cheaper. Sadly, it is not. In fact, the basic Model Y is $4,000 more expensive than the long-range variant of the Xpeng in Australia. In the UK, the price difference is even more drastic, as the new Model Y is currently available only as the launch series model, which is £16,000 more expensive than the Xpeng. Even the base model is expected to cost over 50,000 quid, making it five grand dearer than the Xpeng. And that is in spite of a 115 kilometer or 80 mile lesser range than the cheaper Xpeng. After all, the Xpeng has a 25 kilowatt hour bigger battery than the base Model Y. The Xpeng also charges slightly quicker than the Model Y. Though in the real world, the charging speed is often limited due to the charger's output. Xpeng should start giving two charging ports on their cars, like BYD is starting to do, so that it can make better use of its advanced platform. Both cars are pretty evenly matched in terms of performance, space and features. Check out the pinned comment for a detailed comparison of equipment and tech. There is however one game changer where Tesla can pull a win over the Xpeng. And that is autonomous driving. To be honest, that is more a question of politics and lobbying than technology in today's deglobalizing world. If Elon is able to seduce the politicians outside America to greenlight Tesla's unsupervised autonomy, then the Model Y can continue its sales success for a few more years. But if he antagonizes mostly left-leaning governments with his politics and trolling, then his unsupervised autonomy is bound to get blocked. Xpeng already has one of the best L2 Plus level self-driving tech in China. Now it is up to the regulators to decide who wins this round. There is one more advantage that Tesla holds over Xpeng at the moment. That is its residual value. Thanks to the brand, the hype, the fanboys, and the decade-long track record, the Model Y is bound to get you better resale value if you end up selling your car in four to five years. If you plan to keep it for a decade, then it is not going to make much of a difference. Regardless, most buyers are still going to go for the Tesla. The Xpeng is better value than the Tesla, but it is not above the 20% threshold that is needed to poach buyers away from an established brand. Thanks a ton for watching till the end. Check out this controversial video that we have published recently. And please type out all your criticisms and disagreements in the comment box below. We absolutely enjoy replying to each and every one of them.